It's been seen on Broadway and the big screen. Now the production 12 Angry Men is coming to Citrus. On November 12th, students and locals can see Citrus's Theater Arts Department's adaptation, 12 Angry Jurors, which uniquely features females in their traditionally all-male cast. A kid like that? A kid like that? 12 Angry Jurors tells the story of a jury that must determine the fate of a young man accused of murdering his father. Conflict arises when one juror challenges the nearly unanimous decision of guilt. My character believes that the defendant who's on trial for murdering his father, uh, my character uh, feels that he's innocent and um, he decides to vote not guilty at the very beginning of the play and he, his main reason for voting not guilty is because he wants to talk and throughout the play after talking everybody decides or people start to change their mind and feel that they too have a reasonable doubt. Some actors were given roles that are the complete opposite of their personalities, which challenged their acting experience. Her at the core and what she believes is dra drastically different from, you know, I rally against people like her, you know what I mean? I've spent time fighting with people um, that share her views, so it's, uh, it's been a huge challenge um, for me to fully have to believe the atrocious things that I say. Director Sherry Brown explained how the process of casting this play was different from any production she had previously directed. To slide by the, the repetition. The repetition is supposed to... Well, I did this entire casting process very different than I've ever done before. I had my normal audition, and then I had a callback se session. And instead of having people reading from the script, I had the cast debate issues. And what I was looking for were the people that were standouts and really looked at looked strong and dynamic and had strong points of view and who were listening, because again, this play is all about that. I cast 15 actors, and again, I mean, I just cast them going, okay, I've got men, I've got women, but I still don't know who's going to be playing what role. I cast them as a company, and for the first week of rehearsal, we read the play every week, every night, and um, I would change it up. Monday, you're going to read juror number two. Okay, now it's Tuesday, now you're going to read juror number five. You know, and through that process was how I went, this person is perfect for juror three, this person is perfect for juror two. So it was a very organic approach. The cast continues preparing for opening night on November 12th at 8 p.m. in the Little Theater in hopes of delivering a performance audience members won't soon forget. For schedule and ticket information, visit hobpack.com.